Okay, so in this video we're going to show you some of the micro components of the iPhone 5C. As you can see here, uh, that that screen's not working very well, right? I, I don't think anyone will want a, a screen like that. Uh, I wouldn't either. So, um, so let's go in and disassemble it. And we're going to use a Penelope screw. One of the screws are already missing. Okay. Alrighty. Now we're going to uh, lift it up. And I'm just going to show you some of these micro components of this phone, okay? So you just got to be really careful too because this thing has a lot of glass shards. Okay. Bam. Alrighty. So let's just go over some of the uh, micro components here. Uh, this is the shell uh, that covers the flex cables connecting the screen to the lobby board or motherboard. Um, as you can see here, we have uh, four screws, and these uh, screws right here, these three screws are magnetic, however this one isn't, so we're going to have to uh, be a little bit more aware of that as we replace it. This is how I like to replace it, that way I don't have to use any tweezers or anything. Uh, so, um, the, after that we're going to remove the screen assembly. And we have three flex cables. This one is, um, if, you t if you look carefully here, we have the the speaker assembly uh, right here. Okay, uh, and it's connected with uh, three. Uh, I'm sorry, two pads right here. Uh, it, it it has the the microphone uh, for the loudspeaker. Right. So there's the microphone. Um, so there's two microphones. There's one microphone here and there's another microphone down here. And this is for the uh, regular microphone when you're talking. And this is for the, uh, this is the uh, loudspeaker microphone when you have the phone on loudspeaker. It also has the front uh, camera right here, the front uh, camera, and also the proximity sensor right here. All three of those are connected with this one piece right here. Okay, and then we have the LCD flex, which is responsible for the display, and then we also have the digitizer, which is responsible for the touch. Uh, in addition to that, we also have the home button flex, so which also connects with two pads. Uh, these two pads must be touching um, the logic board, or at least the charging dock right here, which connects to the logic board through this flex, uh, and that uh, is responsible for the, the home button. Uh, flex okay uh, so that's the home button right there obviously okay and then we're gonna go a little bit deeper and show you some more micro parts uh, we're, we're gonna remove this shell right here which um, bam um, which covers the battery flex and also the uh, charging dock flex okay so we're gonna remove battery flex right here and the battery comes off uh, without too much effort sometimes there's a lot more adhesive as you can see so you might need to heat it but then at the same time you somehow have to be ha somehow have to be careful enough not to overheat the the motherboard uh, so just a lot of uh, care just common sense too I guess um, we're going to disconnect the the charging dock uh, right here uh, and there's also uh, an antenna Connected. If you've been watching our disassembly videos, we do have a full disassembly guide. Uh, so if you haven't, go back and watch it. Uh, if you have, um, then obviously I don't need to do too much of a close-up here uh, because you already know how to disassemble it. Uh, once again, this section is simply to identify uh, some of the micro parts. Okay, so this entire bottom section right here is the charging dock. Uh, if you notice, this area is a little bit magnetic. Can you see that? It's magnetic uh, right here and, and this whole dock is responsible for many things. It's responsible for the head jack. Uh, so if that malfunctions, you know that this, this component uh, is responsible for that. There's also the home button. Uh, I like to call these the receivers. Uh, there's different names, but uh, this is what the home button flex cable, uh, two, two metal pads need to be touching 
uh, in order to communicate and as uh, we'll learn later in our um, theory section uh, there, there are things called conductors and semiconductors uh, we'll explain why they're designed that way and, um, and how uh, these two prongs uh, can communicate with the two metal pads of the home button and, uh, and respond to you pushing the home button as well okay uh, so that here right here is uh, the back camera uh, which is connected to this flex right here as you can see uh, I'm going to remove that for you so you can see it uh, so if this ever goes wrong we know that we need to replace uh, if the back camera stops working then it could be an issue with the flex cable and with the back camera it could be a bad connection so just test all of those uh, once again that's the back camera so if you get any issues with your iPhone uh, then you know um, that you probably need to change the back camera and then the worst case scenario is if you're these pads right here that uh, receive the flex cables if those ever get damaged then you have to desolder them with a um, either with a hot air gun uh, or you can use low um, melting point solder uh, and cover the entire uh, board other than here uh, you're going to need some helping hands with a magnifying glass and you can actually remove and replace these uh, these pads right here as well um, I, I haven't made a video myself uh, I've done it many times I just haven't made a video of how to replace these pads but um, I, I've seen a couple on YouTube and uh, on other public videos that seem to uh, get the point across so I just I, I figured there's no real necessary point in me making one of my for myself when um, they it's just going to be the exact same video uh, so I'm going to link the video as to um, during the inner micro soldering section uh, of how to replace these as well. And once again, I'm letting you know ahead of time they're not my personal videos. I did not make those videos, uh, but I'm going to link them because I feel that they really do do a good job getting the points across. Okay. Here you also have the vibrator uh, right here on this top left. Uh, all of these can be removed. Here I'll go ahead and just completely, well at least. Disassemble most of it for you uh, while while you have me. So there we go. That's the uh, vibrator uh, right here. Uh, the vibrator can be removed. Okay, you just gotta be just gotta be careful with it. Uh, okay, and uh, it looks like it's also attached here on the top left uh, as well. So if someone's phone's vibrator just stops working for whatever reason. Uh, and once again, assuming that there's nothing wrong with the software, uh, then you know that th that what that's what needs to be replaced. Okay, and it looks like this thing as well is connected with two metal pads and two prongs uh, on the vibrator. And and this is an issue that can go wrong as well uh, when the prongs are pushed down too hard that they don't have enough um, strength or flexibility to connect to the metal pad. So you can just stretch them back out like this. Uh, and, and that's an issue that that's very common as well okay uh, so the motherboard can also be removed uh, I'm trying to think what else the power button uh, is connected with a flex uh, that connects to this pad right here um, that is also by the way connected to the volume buttons on the side uh, right here and it also connects by the way to uh, this this key as well so they all connect to this one flex uh, to this one receiver so that's what those uh, components are um, as we explained uh, in, in another one of our videos we have some uh, integrated circuit chips uh, here as well they're all protected with these um, these metal uh, casings as you can see they can be pried off after you remove this screw uh, they can be pried off here as well uh, some circuits or, or some chips are soldered on there so you have to uh, desolder them and remove them that way. Uh, this is the battery uh, receiver which is on there pretty much the same way as these pads are. Uh, I call it the battery receiver. That can also be desoldered and, re and uh, resoldered as well. They sell them on, uh, on Amazon. So you just really need a battery uh, to connect uh, right here and if, if you keep disconnecting and reconnecting your battery there's a small chance that this area can actually uh, become damaged. In fact I think this one might be a little bit damaged. Uh, so that being said, uh, that can be removed with uh, with solder, and we'll also we'll also link a video on our micro soldering section as well on how to replace that micro component. Okay, so basically, um, now that you know how to disassemble a phone, uh, we we really want to focus in on identifying what all of these parts are as you disassemble them. 
Okay, so now that you've made it to this section, it, whenever you disassemble the phone, don't just disassemble it. As you're removing uh, certain parts, identify them. Ask yourself, what is that? What is this? What is this? What is that? Why? Why am I removing this? You know, like as you can see here, this is the charging uh, port. Okay, so why? You know, as you remove it, don't just uh, be a vegetable and and remove it. Ask yourself, what is it? Why am I removing it? Here's the loudspeaker, as you can see. Uh, again, so don't be a vegetable and just look at it. Identify them now. Okay, don't just disassemble them, but identify them as you're disassembling it, and ask yourself, what is this piece? as you remove it. So here's a, just a really brief, uh, I know it's super brief, but super brief overview of some of the micro parts, micro components uh, of the iPhone 5C. Uh, I hope I got all of it. Again, that's the head jack, that's the volume, uh, I'm sorry, the home button receiver prongs, uh, that's the charging port, that's the loudspeaker, uh, so uh, these are some integrated chips. Uh, we have the, um, the battery receiving uh, dock, or pad. Uh, we also have the um, charging port pad right here and both of these can be soldered and desoldered off once again. Uh, we have the uh, power and volume button flex receiver right here. We have the LCD front, I'm sorry, back camera. The, the uh, front camera flex which also comes with the loudspeaker microphone and proximity sensor flex and we also have the digitizer flex right here. So what these are what these flexes are uh, responsible for. Okay, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's about it. I'm trying to see if there's anything even more micro than this that we can uh, that we can uh, take apart. Um, but that's about it for now. Uh, please, if you have questions, like I said, it will it will really just take forever for me to go over every single tiny little part. I'm going over the ones that are most frequently damaged and need repair. Uh, I really feel there's no need for me to go over each part that. Uh, you, you're never going to be touching anyways, but nevertheless, if you have any questions, again, we have electrical engineers on our team, uh, we have computer engineers on our team, uh, we have technicians like myself who've been repairing these things for seven years. Uh, whatever questions you have, don't hesitate to ask them in our question section. Uh, if there's a certain part on the phone that you were wondering, hey, what is that, just out of curiosity, ask us and we'll answer it, okay? Um, participate. This isn't just a video where uh, you're entertained, like I mentioned many times. Uh, we need you to be engaged, uh, elsewise you're not going to learn anything. Okay, so uh, participate, uh, engage, uh, be be part of this 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 course. It's designed for you to learn. Uh, okay, so uh, if you have any questions, um, do not hesitate to ask, even if it's just simple curiosity or if it's uh, a more important per pertinent question that is going to help you in a certain repair. Uh, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, uh, any anything, any questions you have, uh, please ask, and we're we're seriously, our whole team is here for you. We'll be more than happy to help. All right, thanks.